What's going on everybody? Effortless Roller here again. So I've been busy. This is my second round here. I have not been able to trap train them or anything. But it's time for them to fly. So um, this is their third day out. And I've just decided, you know what? I'm going to open that door wide open like that. And just let them come out. Do their thing, stretch out their wings. The ones that take off, take off. The ones that haven't will be pushed up in a few weeks here. Well, maybe a few days, that's a shame. But today's super windy. I got overcast. It's cold. It's super, super cold. Um, but yeah, you know, like letting the birds do whatever they want to do. Um, there's about 35 birds in here. And knock on wood, I haven't lost anything yet. I've still got 35 in here. Um, got a few of them that's starting to take off and fly and everything. Um, but I am just basically opening up the door. There's no trap training. There's no sitting in cages. Everything is, is up. Um, I just don't have the time to baby them. And it's already time to fly them. So... You know, um, and the, I'm in that window of of almost having bad birds if I don't push them up. So, they're flying, they're flying, you know, little steps at a time. I'm not forcing them up yet, but I am forcing everything out the kit box. So, you know, pushing everything out. Come on, guys. Pushing everything out, pushing everything out into the top. Sorry about that. And this is it. This is training right here. Training. Um, you know, um, I like to open my door wide open for them to come back in. Um, it's a little overcrowded in the kit box that they're in, but it's okay. I'm just trying to get them conditioned to train together once they start taking off here. I have a kit that I'm going to call, um, or I should say I got two kits that I'm going to call, so it's going to open up kit box one and two there, and um, I'll split this t team up into two as well, so yeah, you know, if I split this team up into two, it'll be what, 15 birds in each, so it'll be more uh, comfortable for them anyways, but you know. I got some older birds that they're rolling, but they don't want to commit to the roll. Um, you know, they're, they're, they got some nice roll, but it's just on and off. They're not consistent. So, you know, I'm going to call them and I'm going to move away from them. Um, beautiful birds, though. Beautiful, beautiful birds. I just don't have the time to mess around with uh, birds that don't want to commit. So... It is time to start calling. I never had the opportunity to call before. Because a lot of times, I mean, I wouldn't say never. I've had a few hands on uh, on a few that don't want to ever fly. I'll call those first. And I don't really get those much. Um, you know, I'll probably get like one or two every like season. And that's it. That don't want to fly. But uh, most of my birds, they like to fly. So this is the call kit right now. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful birds. But we ain't here for pageants, huh? We're not here for pageant. So they will be pushed up. They're flying almost every day right now. This kit right here. Giving them the opportunity to prove themselves. But they haven't done nothing. So, once November gets here, it is time to empty up this kit box and move forward. Um, here's the other one. Um, like I said, beautiful, beautiful birds in there. 
but everything must fly. Everything must fly and perform to stay here now. So these guys will also be flying every day until something's proven themselves. The little red bar hen right there, she's actually pretty good. Um, she might be pulled out here pretty soon. Same with that blue check there. Oh, actually, they're both blue checks here might be moved out. I'm just trying to, in, in that blue bar, but I'm just trying to confirm um, their performance. So I will push them up, and I'm trying to, perf you know, like per basically what I'm doing is whatever bird is performing out of this kit will be removed out, and they will be held back. Um, yeah, man, it's time to get serious, you know? Time to get serious. Feet, feet ain't cheap. And, and if the birds don't deliver, really, there's no point in keeping them around. Um, you know, you got to set a standard for yourself. Standard for your goals. Um, these are the birds that are going to be moving forward. And when I say moving forward, they got the velocity. They've got the speed and the depth that I like. Um... But yeah, you know, like these are the birds that will be. Oh my gosh, moving forward here. Sorry guys. But yeah, these girls right here are doing really good, and I'm very satisfied with them. Um, I guess you could say they're the main one right now. Um, but you know, you gotta go through your birds. You gotta go through your birds, and you gotta pick the best. You gotta get rid of the rest. Um, believe it or not, I have some really good cock birds. I think I have more cocks than I do my hens. Um, but these guys are all doing very, very good. And when I mean very good, they're nice and deep um, and frequent. And you know, I didn't really get to fly this kit for the Nationals. I flew some of them. But not all of them because, you know, I was busy. Not only that, but I had family in town. And I forgot about the week of fly that time. So I screwed up and I had my family in town the same week that I was flying. So I was busy getting our hunting stuff set up. So I wasn't really flying birds much. And then with the migration birds of prey coming through i just decided you know what i'll throw some of them in there some of the ones that are doing something i was just putting them together and hopefully hope for the best that's all i did um so i didn't really do too good but next year for sure you know like no more no more babying around no more bsing around um so as you can tell i got quite a few that i'm gonna call and the thing about it is that it's not that they don't roll they do roll um they're just not deep enough to my standard and they're not they're basically like either either something's wrong or something's acting up um where i'm not i'm not feeling too confident to put them away and honestly i want a kit where if i lose my breeders i could put that kit away so i'm looking for quality birds um so if they if it's not a bird that i'm like oh i would like to try that in my breeder loft then i'm probably gonna keep flying it and move it out um i did put three really good 2024 babies away for next year uh i'm gonna try them out i did lose a few breeders so i'm gonna try some of those young ones out but yeah you know it's it's time to push for it and whatever is not to my standards i just gotta get rid of them so november either the first week of november or second week of november it's time to go um you know like november is probably going to be the first week where i'm going to start feeding them up feeding them all of them up and marking the ones that's got to go go oh and the blue kit right here has a few in there that are gonna be um, called as well too. So, yeah, and, you know, like just keeping everybody updated. You know, as a breeder, um, 
no matter what kind of animal you breed or no matter what anything as long as you're breeding and you're a breeder um, you're gonna get traits and that you don't want it doesn't matter how much you select for it um, you're always gonna have those flaw um, you know because the birds want to move back into the natural you know the natural um, cycle of just regular flying you know and so you're always gonna fight nature and then what's natural and you know when you're breeding like a performance breed like the roller pigeons whether it's parlor rollers whatever it is you know you're always gonna have to fight against nature and chances are you know you're gonna get birds that are gonna be flat you're gonna get birds that's gonna give you issues and you just gotta go through them and select the best and just keep moving forward you know you might get a click pair which is you know a bird that or a pair that can throw you consistent performance um i i was debating about moving back to some of those that are proven but you know i am also trying to move forward with my program so i'm hoping that the ones i put away will also move my program forward but only time will tell um i've said it many times that you know, I, I don't have the depth that I once have. And, you know, I was talking to a friend of mine, and he was saying the same thing. He was like, man, dude, your birds used to be so deep. And so seeing them, like, you know, like 20, 30 foot, he's like, I'm not used to it. I'm like, yeah, me too, you know, me too. And, you know, I've lost majority of my original stock. I only have a few, and I put it in here. And believe it or not, the three that I moved, the three that I moved, into my breeder out of the 2024s are actually out of my original stuff too so that's exciting i only have a uh one or two birds left that are out of my original stuff and i'm happy to see that they're producing they're producing for me so it's a slow process but you know i'm i'm also selecting for what i want and you know i'm not i'm not chasing depth but i do like i do like it I do like it. It's not my number one thing. Style is my number one thing. But if they have the style that I like and they have the depth that I want, they're gonna stay. Um, you know, that's just that's just goes for me. So, um, you know, I'm trying to aim for that and push for it, and hopefully, I can get them back to the depth that I like. But you know, I'm not out crossing anything in or doing anything new. But yeah, this is this is actually my habit crew so this is this is my creation um these babies are two-thirds two-thirds dc which is danny Corney's, and one quarter rick me um i call them the havoc crew because when i did the first cross i flew them out and man the breaking power on this family was great um you know for the guys who flew the rick me birds they know that they have good chemistry um but what they do i don't know for anybody else but for me they just didn't have the depth that i like um you know averaging 15 20 feet um but when i did a cross i was getting about like you know like 20 30 and uh, some of them are hitting 40 and so i was like you know what i can kind of move forward if i continue to put it back on the dcs i'm hoping to add more depth and frequency to them um but you know i'll fly them out like i said this is my very first round this year uh that's havoc crew the first round that is uh the first round that is uh pure pure dcs right here it's my first round of pure dcs right here and i'm liking them i've already selected a few out of them this red right here might be moving as well as that red one um there's a few in here that's come coming in really good so I'm, I'm liking the results i'm getting and these are off and these are also off from breeders that are young um some of them are off from my 2023s believe it or not before i put them back up in the air so to see that their babies are already doing good means that i feel more confident moving forward with my program but these right here are all my Havoc crews. So first round DCs, pure, no crosses. 
and then this is this is my family i guess you could say um there'll be two thirds dc one third rick me and i'm gonna move forward with this kit here and i'm gonna be putting their parents back up in the air oh a little nervous about that but i'm gonna do it um so we'll see how that goes but yeah guys you know just sharing a little bit of what i'm doing out here nothing fancy nothing too crazy but this is gonna be the only cross that i'm gonna be focusing on so we'll see how far they go and i'm gonna be very picky on who goes back into the breeder loft uh, a little bit more pickier than i am with my dc birds because you know these are gonna be what i created so i really gotta be keen in on what i'm selecting back so these youngs are gonna be flown hard and only the best out of these will go forward so we'll see how it goes um looking to put at least 10 babies away but we'll see only time will tell and you know like only god knows if it'll work or not you know it might, it might end up calling the whole thing you never know you know that's the thing about rollers um but if they do it right they will continue to move forward and we'll see how it goes but yeah effortless roller we out.